The difference between poor people and rich people mostly boils down to habits. The poor have some habits that keep them poor, while the rich have habits that naturally keep them rich. In order to switch over to either side, one has to acquire the habits of either side. Which do you prefer? Poverty habits or wealth habits? In this video, I'm going to share with you 7 habits that make you most likely to become a millionaire. 1. Wake up early. An adage once said, early to bed, early to rise, makes one healthy, wealthy and wise. When you wake up early, it is easier to plan your day. You are more productive when you wake up refreshed. Most early risers also sleep early and are thus more likely to get the recommended 8 hours of sleep for adults. Rising early gives you the time to exercise, meditate and begin your day with purpose. Rich people know the day can be busy. They spend their morning preparing. Poor people wake up and are already in a hurry to catch the train that lives in 30 minutes. They seldom have time to plan, meditate or even exercise. They are also often up at night doing very unproductive things like watching random movies. If you always slip in and you want to be rich, it is time to adopt a wealth habit for yourself. Wake up early and sleep early. 2. Reading daily for self-improvement Poor people can sometimes read a lot. They read fiction, blog posts, Facebook posts, WhatsApp messages and even Twitter feed. They just never get around to reading the book on goal setting gifted to them by their father during their last birthday. The need to read something that can actually help them achieve their goals never seem important enough. Those who are poor are indifferent to learning new things. Those who are rich know their next earning could depend on it. The rich value their books and keep them handy while the poor may not even remember where they kept the books that can help them. To become a millionaire, you need to become intentional about your growth. You should read books about financial management and wealth creation so that you can get ideas on how to succeed. Joining a community of readers who are working on becoming millionaires as well can be a good way to sustain your reading habit. 3. Watching less TV Poor people are always on the TV or streaming videos when they are not working while seeing one show in a day is not damaging. Watching your favorite show all night long can have negative consequences. It can mean sleeping late and waking up late. But beyond that, it is not really productive. How do you determine if an activity is productive or not? By asking yourself what you stand to gain from undertaking it and how this helps your future goals. If you want to be a millionaire, reading a chapter of essays by Warren Buffett is more productive than watching four episodes of The Witcher. Forming a habit of watching less TV can be a step towards becoming a millionaire. If you watch fewer shows, you have more time to undertake a productive activity. If you undertake productive activity, you improve your chances of maximizing your resources and making better decisions. This will ultimately make you a millionaire. 4. Outsourcing work Rich people seldom do busy work. They are perfectly fine with outsourcing work to others. Poor people take on all the work that comes their way. They want the extra cash. In the end, they are too exhausted to put in their best and this affects the quality of their work. Not doing a job and retaining a reputation for quality is better than taking a job for the cash and earning a reputation for poor quality. Rich people value their time. They would rather study than take up work they don't really enjoy. They can outsource work and take a commission. Poor people want to keep all the cash they can access. In so doing, they lose future cash by doing a poor job. Rich people understand the importance of relationships. They know that outsourcing not only gives them the time to do other productive things, but also endears the person who gets the gig to them. Poor people do not understand that relationships are valuable and need to be serviced. 5. Living within your means When was the last time you took a loan to buy something you loved but didn't really need? When was the last time you had a donut when you weren't even hungry? If it's been long, you have come a long way. Rich people don't spend a lot of money buying things they don't need. They might want a Gucci wristwatch but settle for one not so popular that still tells time. When you're building wealth, buying luxuries can hinder your purpose. Rich people do not buy things because they can afford it. They don't buy extra donuts or extra cheese simply because they can afford it. If you want to be a millionaire, learn to buy only what you need and never spend beyond your budget. Keeping to this requires discipline and resolve. How badly do you want to be rich? 6. Start a savings. An old adage once said, make hay while the sun shines. 
It's wise to always pay yourself. That is, set aside a percentage of your income as savings. You can never tell what emergency tomorrow can bring. Starting savings can be tough when you are already earning so little. However, rich people save no matter what they earn. They know that no one ever truly has the money they need to carry out their intentions at once. It takes time to accumulate the amount needed. Rich people cultivate this habit early and can sometimes have savings that are decades old. Poor people procrastinate about starting and sometimes end up never starting. 7. Invest regularly Rich people know that savings alone will not make the rich. Through diligent studying, they have identified the asset classes to invest in. They proceed to invest in them regularly, and this has yielded positive returns. Poor people, on the other hand, gamble while investing. Because they do not have the discipline required to study books on investing, they invest randomly and sometimes in unfavorable asset classes. As a result, they lose a lot of money. Investing is one of the habits of rich people. They invest in their business, in their relationships, in themselves and on their assets. They know what each asset's capacity for return is. If you want to be rich, adopt a habit of following through discipline, the study of the books that will help you make better investments. If you observe certain traits of rich people closely, you will learn some tricks that can help you become like them. It is also extremely useful to have friends that think like you. Surrounding yourself with people who have terrible habits will kill your ambition real quick.